So I was just putting the airbox back together on the RSV. Um, this is an airbox upgrade, which I was just doing. Uh, there's the old airbox there. And there's the new airbox there. Um, it's an internal design change, which should give me about five brake horsepower through the range. But I did forget to say, this went back to the dyno uh, the other day. Uh, yesterday. Went back to the dyno yesterday with the airbox modification on there. Um, now, I did have the graph because uh, he copied it onto my USB stick, but then it, it disappeared when I got home, so I'm waiting for another copy of it. Uh, they gave me about an extra five brake horsepower, ironically the same as the RSV, through the range. Uh, it felt markedly better on the way home uh, from the dyno. I've literally ridden it the once to get home. Uh, and uh, yes, it's absolutely, definitely worth doing. So if you were to do that airbox mod, uh, the one that's in my other videos of essentially lopping the bottom of it off, putting some gold tape on it to insulate it from the, uh, from the top of the engine heat, uh, and also opening up the air intakes, that's really down to if you want to start cutting your uh, OEM stuff apart. I did because I thought it was obviously a good thing, which it was. Uh, I think you can get you can get carbon infills that don't have anything there. So you could change just for carbon infills, but I think those parts, the ones that I butchered, uh, here we go. Where is it, where is it, where is it? Uh, ugh, those bits in there, um, I think they're like 15 quid or something like that, not very much. Uh, so essentially I got more through the rev range. When I fitted the, 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 when I did the mod without going to the dyno, it just felt snappier. And when I came off the dyno yesterday, I got that same feeling again. So yeah, it, providing you can be asked to go to the dyno, uh, it's a good thing to do without, but it's an even better thing to do if you go to the dyno. So that was, uh, it was really just a quick video to say that. I haven't really had much to put up recently um, because I've been busy in my garden landscaping, so I haven't really done that much. Um, after it was put back together, it's been fine ever since, as I suspected. I've got a few extra goodies that are on order, but I'll do another video for those when they get here. So uh, I'll couple on the back of this just the time it was on the dyno yesterday as well. So there you go. Good thing to do.